Well, these was two dwarf black mulberries. This one looks like it's doing pretty good. I planted them in a bad spot because I read the paper and it said they didn't get that tall. Six, seven feet tall. Well, that was apparently an average because these get a lot taller. And they're in the way of the solar panels by the time the end of the season's over with. We have to trim them back every year. Looks like one's doing really good and one of them is going to put out some. Same way with the cherry bushes. These are naking cherry bushes. This one's just loaded with blooms, leaves and blooms. It looks like it's going to do really well. This one seems to be dormant. It don't seem to be dead yet. But I haven't found any blooms or buds or anything on it to show this going to actually live. It might be done for. This little bush is rona berry. I've talked about it two or three times. We get the berries every year and I usually make juice out of them. I don't get enough to do a whole lot yet. But I hope to fix that this year. This TSC was selling plants the other day. And I bought another Arona berry and bought a service berry to help with our berry production. Of course, we have our strawberries. They have really enjoyed this wet, warm, humid weather we've had. Really weird for March, but hey, it works. Haven't seen any true blooms yet. You said dandelion's got to come out. Right now, it's they're just pretty and pretty and green. No blooms, no strawberries yet. I'll have to cover them up this week because it is supposed to get cool this coming week to me. Now these were sold to me as Virginia cherries or black cherries. They're a unique plant. It says you don't have to prune it, you can leave it like a bush or you can prune it more like a tree. Every year I try to prune it, but I missed year four last and didn't prune the bush after it went in dormancy. I got very few berries last year. So last fall I pruned it and I gave it a really good pruning. And it looks like it's already starting to push out. This is the other one. I, I tried to plant stuff at least in pears. But the pears don't always live. It's got a few leaves on it. It looks like it might make it. One of them's always ahead of the other. And that's the other weird thing. I planted them at the same time. They look the same when I planted them, but this one's always a week or two ahead of that one. Berries and all. This one has ripe berries this week. It's another week before the other one has them. Which is a good thing, I guess. Let's see, we didn't do the, the plum bushes. That's another one. I ordered a new plum bush because I'm having trouble with these. Ordered a Chickasaw. You know it's these two there. I planted this one. Forgot about putting the cage around it and something clipped the top of it off. Well, I found it and it was still green so I just pushed it into the ground and left it. Well, it's come out as another tree or another plum bush. We got a, a sucker here off of the plum bushes that's been here. They pop up everywhere when you got a plum bush. This was one I planted last year. It's a different kind of plum. It's a beach plum. Of course, the two big ones here is American plum. And they really got the blooms on them right now. I bought the other two because 
every year they this big one here especially it blooms out loads down with little green plums but you don't ever see one get ripe the green ones is always gone by the time they should be ripe it seemed like these hundreds of thousands and then it's down just a few dozen and it's down to one or two and they're gone before they you ever see one turn I don't know what happens to them So hopefully one of these days I'll have four or five. Maybe I'll get one. Well, these two little sticks here are American hazelnuts. I dug up a couple last year off of this next one. Off this hazel nut tree planted them over and got them started they've got buds on them they just haven't come out yet and they're gonna be a little late it's this first year but we actually get hazelnuts off this one no bigger than it is this one is a I believe they sold it as a barcelona hazelnut it's supposed to make bigger better ones than the american does and you need a different one to pollinate, so I've got two different kinds here. This one usually doesn't have anything on it. You won't never produce hazelnuts, but the other one does. This one apparently pollinates that one. I'm hoping to change that this year. I'm hoping this one to come out because I see a lot of female blooms on this one. Hopefully it will decide to start producing. This is another little American hazelnut. I planted it last fall and something broke it off and it had a hard life. I threw their sticks all the way around it. But it's come out this year already. It's already got good leaves on it. Hopefully it'll make a stand and actually grow this year. Now this big bush is cranberry. It's supposed to be an edible cranberry. I disagree with them. It's fun to play with people because you tell them what it is and they ask if you can eat it and I tell them no it's too nasty you won't you couldn't stand it and something just rises up in people about that and they just have to do it anyway even though you tell them not to it's still funny to watch them eat it This is our other cranberry. I bought two of them, planted in pairs. This one's always ahead of the other one because it gets more sun. But you can see it's already starting the bud, bud out for berries. It's got the leaves now, it's putting on lots and lots of cranberries. You can see the ones from last year. Nothing eats them, including me. If I can catch this right quick before the wind picks back up again. There's some future trees, a couple of our figs we had in the house growing. I've set them outside because the weather got warm and you know, they'd aborted several of the figs doing that. But it's all right, they're too small really anyway. Now the tray where I tried growing a few of them, I, that's what I got left. I hadn't dug out yet. I've got four more fig trees to dig out. A lot of it didn't make, but several items did fun to play with anyway. Some of them looks like they're still trying, but I might keep it going a little longer see what I get. I realize I neglected a few items as I walked by. Somehow I skip over stuff. These are a couple more of the apple trees I got from uh, suckers. And I forgot to go by and look at my blueberries I got in pots. They're just too small to put out this year. So I put them in pots and They've got leaves and they've got blooms on them. Looks like I'm going to have a few blueberries this year. Of course, I'm going to try to get them started in the pots. And if they grow well this year, they might get planted this fall. I won't plant them on the other part of the yard. I've got one more item I did. I forgot to even talk about or two. 
Well, I forgot this spot here. We looked at the little plume bush. The, the sucker has jumped up. I forgot to mention this is uh, where a banana tree grows every year. Several banana trees, really. I've had one big one here, and of course it always puts out suckers around it. And it's actually a banana tree that could make fruit. But it can't handle the winter here. It always dies off. But it's neat to have in the yard. I've never seen it bloom. It, it never has a long enough season. I hope to keep it going one day and get a one of the suckers off of it and put it in the pot and put it in the greenhouse. Just to play with, I guess. In my little garden, I forgot about these two. These are raspberries. I got several started again. I had a good good run on them for a year or two, and I had to move them. Well, the way things got turned here and different trees and bushes planted, they got where they didn't get enough sun. So I dug them up and moved them. In the moving, I think I've lost my black raspberries. I had black and red, and I think these is probably just the red ones. That's what we had last year. But the canes die off cause the winter and come back each spring. So we got a few more to play with this year. Hopefully we'll get some raspberries. I guess that kind of covers the the half acre of, around the house here. It covers my fruit trees and stuff. We'll have to take a walk on the other half of the property or the other two thirds. Some other time talk about the trees there but hope you enjoyed our little tour y'all have a good week god bless